Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 4th of October 2023. So juicy jobs day to slam stocks, sparks up bond a bloodbath and VIX explosion. As we saw the other week about the implied volatilities being very, very low. And as I said, and this has been going on since 1994, once we get down to the lows, the market uh, will make a move to the downside. That's the underlying market, i.e. stocks, indices, etc., and the volatility will move to the upside. We'll look at that in just a moment. But that's what's behind yesterday's move to the downside, according to uh, the media. Then we've got uh, stocks and uh, bonds were sold after the spike in job openings. So again, more hawkish news and uh, issues for the uh, Fed to face. Uh, so it looks like interest rates are not going down anytime soon. Speaking of volatility, you can see that uh, we've come off the 994 and now at uh, 1494 we've seen this for a long time uh, april was the last time we got up to 16 and um, but you can see there the decline in the stocks there I mentioned this to, before you know we always get these lows it precedes the uh, the move correction uh, in the market it just depends how long the correction moves but once you get the momentum like this and like we saw last year in october once that uh, volatility uh, doubles then the down move is over. So at the moment, we're looking around 18, go to 20. So we're looking around this sort of area for the volatility to uh, stop and the downside in this current move to stop as well. We can go through that. We had that with COVID. You get a, you know, extenuating circumstances where you have uh, a move greater than the 100%. But it doesn't matter once you get through 100%, you can then start watching and looking for the bottom in the stocks but at the moment we're only at 1491 the market could find support here and that's going to be the highest you're going to get just as uh, we had uh, 16 here then we had a bit of a move and then it uh, started moving back to the upside so i'll just have to see there and in today's economic news uh, lagarde's out once more at uh, 9 15 opec meeting today as well uh, oil hammered down the other day and then we've got ADP, that's going to be the big one for today. ADP at 115, ISM and uh, uh, Lagarde speaking again at 5 pm. The ADP numbers obviously are going to be a reflection, or maybe a reflection, I should say, of yesterday's jolts, which came out at uh, 9.61. So uh, an increase in numbers there. It's not the last thing the Fed needs at the moment. Okay, let's have a look at the markets. Uh, the, the stock markets got crushed yesterday afternoon following this uh, 3 p.m. jolts opening data. So let's have a look at uh, the Dow and work our way through to the metals. So in the Dow yesterday, you can see we're red all the way at the moment. Uh, yesterday selling off uh, sharply. Let's have a look at the weekly chart. And you can see we're down at uh, the 89% uh, retracement there at the moment. Uh, down at uh, 32,924. And we've got this other low to the left as well. And um, just draw that in. Don't forget, this is a weekly chart. So we're down to 32.583 is the next downside target. 30 minute chart, same picture we've seen for the last few weeks. Uh, get the right chart. There we go. Up in the morning, down in the afternoon and evening. And we're already sitting at yesterday's low. So if we can take that out, then we'll continue down in both the daily and the weekly chart. The weekly is more important. Uh, in this case because you can't see a lot in the daily without you go back uh, a long way on the chart and I don't like to compress the bars too much so I prefer to go to the weekly get a better view of what's going on in the background of the market there so yeah 30 minute chart trying to hold at the lows there at uh, this time bit of a bounce uh, it's oversold at the moment so you may get a bounce up to the close before a resumption to the downside in the German DAX also uh, down, you can see there's a bit of buying pressure there and also the momentum starting to pick up on the upside there. So don't be surprised if we get a bit of a spike to the upside uh, on the open there. The bigger picture showing this. Uh, yesterday we moved to the upside. It was messy for the first uh, half an hour as the German market was closed, but then managed to move higher. And then you see this steady decline choppy again, whipsaw action as the market uh, came down during yesterday. Quick look at the weekly chart here as well. You'll see that we're heading down towards this sort of low to the left as well. Let me just uh, drop that in there if you want some numbers. It's uh, 14458. That's where the support for the DAX is likely to come in if the 89 in the weekly is broken at 675. In the S&P 500 also moving lower, but we need to look at the weekly chart in this as well. We're down at 78% retracement at the moment. 
and then we've got uh, a low to the left there as well so the two targets are here and then the third one is support to the left where the market moved down a bit and then moved up in the daily chart as we've seen already down and uh, the momentum starting to move up uh, a bit as well in the uh, the s p 500 even uh, like the dow sorry not the dow the dax so a bit of momentum moving up despite the fact uh, price is moving down there so keep an eye on any sort of short-term rally and the the 30 minute chart again same picture as the dow same picture that it's been for the last few weeks and also sitting at the low as well in the ft 100 we're down to the 78 percent retracement demand in here as well and momentum starting to come back slightly for a dead cat bounce uh, talking of bounces we had one yesterday morning in the footsie you can see the market moving up this was followed by a decline and it's a whipsaw one again uh, trading sideways whipping up then going back down with the dow in the us dollar continues to move higher this is going to give the market some grief this is uh, it's a disaster in the making so keep an eye on uh, any sort of black swan event that, that comes out because this is just uh, insane there's not been a single week where the us dollar hasn't moved it's going to cause all sorts of currency problems and again uh, inflation continuing to move higher behind the scenes as well so yeah it's good it's not going to end well let's uh, put it that way as uh, the dollar continues to move to the upside let's have a quick look at the metals better day for these yesterday in the silver market again demand there we're certainly oversold down at 2067 still think it's going lower personally if we go to the weekly chart uh, still down at uh, 19 dollars and then 17 but if the dollar continues to move higher this is just a reprieve and you can see that we've got an inside bar overnight despite the uh, the shorts taking profits yesterday 30 minute charts uh, you can see there choppy ran that news of the jolts opening there but uh, holding fast there as well i mean obviously if there's more inflation and rates have got to go up then you will see uh, a bit of a pullback to the upside in the the metals uh, gold will start with the weekly chart down at the 200 ma through the 89 and in the daily chart you can see there again we've got a bit of buying demand coming into the market but uh, just like we had it here and here sometimes it just doesn't hold it'll hold for a day and then the market uh, sells again 30 minute charts again the reaction to the jolts yesterday and uh, then also uh, way off the low which is good but trying to get back above the dp there in the gold silver ratio settling down after monday and tuesdays well friday and monday's action tuesday a bit better there wednesday overnight uh, starting to move to the upside and again we're going probably up to the 100 uh, plus uh, area once more for gold silver ratio okay that's it uh, for this one as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one